We wanted to get Ken something so he could ride pit bikes with us. And somebody who's uncoordinated like Ken and two wheels don't really mix, so we got him some training wheels. <laughs> I think I get more excited for Ken's surprises than he, well, I did, no, I take that back. I definitely get more excited for Ken's surprises. I don't think Ken even likes his surprises. Yeah, that's probably a better way to put it. So what we didn't show you guys is that we actually threw studs and three of the pit bike tires. We're actually gonna have some traction now and uh, we should be able to rip. Perfect. Ken? Yeah. Uh, uh, now how much you love surprises. So we got you something. All right. So Ken, you're gonna wanna feed this thing at least two times a day oh, and then make sure it always has water. Drum roll, please. Okay, well that's a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was a present for me. Yes, yeah, the training. The training. <laughs> Not the pit bike? No. I mean, I, I never needed a additional wheels on a pit bike. Well, Ken, you're welcome, man. Thank you for giving me something I didn't need. No. Ken had Christmas no. this year, it was haunt or something. <laughs> okay, yep. Ken, Are you easy on the tires. Oh, yes. All broke it. Is this even frozen? It literally looks like open water. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if this is gonna hold a pit bike. You get that? Do you see that? I hear the water slosh from my jump. Ken, you're in like two inches of water right now. Yeah, Come out I, this I, far. I don't wanna get that deep. Ken's not going over his boots. Look at your boots, you got waterproof boots on, bro. Yeah, I don't wanna go above them. Yeah, that's eight inches. <laughs> Dude, it's not breaking. Let's go. I just want to make sure that you guys know that we're not capping and this is the night. Do you think we should wear life jackets? I feel like life jackets would almost hurt you because say you went under and you fell underneath the ice shelf, it'd be pushing up and you wouldn't be able to get out. You'd almost want to be free because then you could like swim down, look, find the hole, go up. I don't think you're going underneath. Yeah, well, you better hope not. I do get your, understand your logic. Though. When I fell in off the hovercraft and I was wearing a sweatshirt and jeans, I could not swim. Like, I was like drowned in a sweatshirt. I'm picturing you riding a pit bike and then just having it just. <laughs> and all of a sudden you're underneath shot water. You naked going across the lake. <laughs> That'd be really funny, actually. You really think I can't ride a pit bike? I've seen you ride them. It just seems like you normally have your legs sprawled out off the pegs just for stabilization. So this will I mean, basically be doubling as your legs, except there's wheels. You can yeah, rest them out. See, Ken, you look like you need him. <laughs> he still got his legs out. <laughs> no, puts his foot down. I he told you. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Any wheels? The ice. Oh, that's probably fine. Ken, you got trust issues, bro. You just gotta trust us. Why? You think after all these years you'd finally trust us, Ken? This is so sick!
Delusional, I tell you. He sits here and tells us the whole time before we get here, I didn't need training wheels. I ride with my feet on the pegs. Gets down here, feet are hanging off with training wheels. <laughs> Did they take your training wheels away? Gladly. Oh, fuck my Good, bro? No! The ice is hard, bro. The ice is hard, man. And it is slippery. Oh, look at this lad, dude. I'm pretty sure this is a weak spot in the ice. This is what you call a pressure ridge, Ryan. Look at that, dude. You guys' back tires are like chainsaws right now. They are, dude. These are probably getting pretty dull, too. Eh, they're fine. <laughs> Okay, this is how we test the ice thickness. I'll start. Okay, it's one person thick. <laughs> oh! This is gonna be the strongest piece of ice in the whole lake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> yes! I can't move very fast. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. I see the testing has already begun. The destruction has already started. Oh, is that what we're calling it? Uh, testing is probably a better word for it. So if you've seen the videos in the past, we have bought vehicles off of Amazon that let's just say have ended mm, broken. <laughs> so today we bought, I think the most expensive dirt bike that you can buy on Amazon. I don't want to do any disservice to the name here. So it's a X Pro 250cc dirt bike pit bike gas dirt bike adults dirt pit bike 250cc gas dirt pit dirt bike <laughs> red. <laughs> That's the description. That's the description. And it's uh, $1,830 plus $400 in shipping. So all in, you're in like 2,200 bucks. Um, not cheap. Not cheap at all. When you could basically go out and buy any used dirt bike that will be better than this pit bike. So we're gonna find out today if this thing's worth it. Yeah, let's put it together. Right, let's do it's it. amazing what you can get off Amazon nowadays. Like literally fucking anything. We were anything. talking last night. You can buy coffins at Costco. I wonder <laughs> if you can get a coffin at Amazon. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Warning. You actually can buy coffins on Amazon. No way. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good deal. A thousand bucks for a coffin. Please remove the wire band of the engine breathe tube before you use the vehicle. If not, it will cause the big air pressure inside the engine and explosion. You will be killed. Coffin. You coffin. will be killed. <laughs> I do not think this guy is qualified to be using this. We got it all together. Honestly, it looks really cool, I think. Like, it looks good, especially from afar. When you get up close, you can kind of tell it's like cheap and like a Chinese bike, but it, it's a pretty nice bike, honestly. We'll see if it performs up to that. But there is a lot of stuff wrong with it. So it didn't come with a shifter. The wheel is, uh, <laughs> is bent. I don't know, it's like wavy. It's leaking from the gas shut off. The battery came without any fluid, and then when we put fluid in it, it still doesn't start. And then half of the bolts were missing. It's got some serious meat for a back tire. I don't know what brand this is, but it doesn't spin very freely. Ow! Ow! That was inside my boot. It hurts so bad. How does that happen? This is what happens when Ryan tries to ride a dirt bike. <laughs> He just is an electric start kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. 
You good? I don't know, dude. You I don't gonna think so. You're going to file workman's comp? I think I better take the day off. <laughs> Ken is like, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, my foot hurts too. The closer I got to full throttle, the more I wanted to cut out and die. <laughs> uh, we already blew it up. <laughs> no. Everything's... What the f***? Well, that's good. I'm actually impressed with us on this one. All we gotta do is start it. I'm honestly just pissed. Imagine some kid spent all his money on this thing. We didn't even drop this thing in a first gear. This is why we're here testing it out for you guys. Imagine five kids spending all their money on it and then it runs <laughs> for about 30 seconds. Chain fell off. Honestly, this thing's pretty good. So good. Far, yeah, I was very impressed with that, Ben. So it seems like the Amazon bike is, has passed pretty much all of its testing so far. It has actually outperformed our expectations. Yeah, I mean, there was some minor hiccups, but uh, it seems to be good. So we're gonna go for a little ride around the uh, neighborhood, you could say, and uh, just have some fun. Baby girl love my bop and I'm like me too No roof on my top and my babe see through Yeah oh. Holy f I just jumped over the wheel Did you see that? Oh Jesus <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my Holy crap! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit, bro! Just perfect, just. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! You had some good timing jumping. Okay. Oh my god! That's. 
that's enough excitement for one day. That give me a heart attack. I feel like my oh. parents watching our videos right now. Little trouble in paradise. Why is Ben pushing the Amazon bike back? What the heck happened? You just trying to get a workout or what? Dude, I blew it up. Shut up. No, you did. Nah, I just ran out of gas. <laughs> all right, all in all, the Amazon motorcycle, pit bike, 250, whatever you want to call it, review. I can't hate on it too much because it's still running and it's still running pretty good. Uh, besides for the fact that it's incredibly boring to ride because there's no power. For 2,200 bucks though, I'd probably save up an extra 600 bucks and yeah. buy a 110. Yeah.